all right? He said she is the source of all the cosmic energy, and that's what his Adi Shakti is. She's the one who creates everything. The whole <coughs> atmosphere that we know of is very artificial, but when you understand what she has done, the first thing she does is to… in my book also I have written down about it, but I would like to tell you that her first, uh, should say, manifestation is on the left hand side. That's the Mahakali's manifestation. So she comes on the Mahakali system, the left hand side, and that is where she created Ganesha. Sri Ganesha is created because his purity, his innocence, and auspiciousness, this it had to be created before she created the universe. So first thing she does is to create Sri Ganesha and she settled down. Then she goes up, of course, in the body of the Virata. And then she goes round and goes up on the right hand side, in the other way. And there she creates all the universes, as you call them, Bhuvanas. One universe, there are fourteen Bhuvanas means these many, many universes made, make one Bhuvan. And she creates all these things on the right hand side. Then she goes up and then she descends down, creating all the chakras, Adi chakras or the pithas. She comes down, makes all these pithas and then she settled as the Kundalini. But Adi Shakti is not fully the Kundalini, we can say Kundalini is, is a part of it. The rest of the work is much more than this. So the, all the, we call it the residual energy, means after going through all this journey, then she comes round and she goes as Kundalini. Because of this Kundalini and the chakras, she creates a area which we call as the chakras in the body. Now, first she creates these chakras in the head, we call them the pithas of the chakras. And then she comes down and creates these chakras which are uh, in the body of the Virata. Now, once this has happened, then she creates human beings, but not directly. Through the evolutionary process, she goes through and that's how the evolution starts. And then it starts developing from the minute, small little microscopic organisms in the water and then it starts evolving. So when she creates water and she creates all the universes, she chooses this Mother Earth as the best place to play her evolutionary process. And there she makes this little microscopic thing. Of course, I've written all about it and when my book will be released, you can see that how first hydrogen, carbon and uh, oxygen and all of these things are mixed up and how nitrogen comes into play and how a living process starts. All this I have done it in my another book that I am going to write now. I mean, I have mostly finished but there's some more chakras are to be dealt with. <laughs>